Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Uh, I welcome all of you. As you have seen so far, many Atomy leaders uh, came up here and said anyone can make it with us. Still, I see many newcomers seem suspicious and can't quite believe what they hear with their ears. Yeah. Um, for you to succeed, uh, at least two conditions must be met. Foremost, the business you're about to take up, Atomy, does it have the potential to become successful? Isn't that what matters most? It's a distribution company. Distribution must sell good products at good prices. The consumers must keep repurchasing, thinking that they must have our stuff. The business must deal in that sort of merchandise. One of the stigmas that the MLM business has is that we're some sort of Ponzi or pyramid scheme and that we trick people into investing money when there's no actual business. The media tends to spread this sort of news around. Due to those few rotten apples, we suffer from such a bad reputation. However, there is one criterion that indicates a good MLM company, and I'll tell you what that is. You've all been buying your daily necessities from discount stores, TV home shopping, and internet shopping malls, right? Yeah. Among all of those products, if you run into things that are of better quality and better prices, you should do business with that company. That is a good distributor. You should be able to brag to your neighbors, these are amazing products and I really like them. This is a surefire way to save money. By you telling people this and them continually buying our stuff, your group of consumers will grow under you. By talking to people like this, your consumer group grows with their money spent and will collect points which the computer system will calculate and you will finally receive compensation. Let's say that the goods are expensive and you wouldn't even bother if you weren't in this just for the money. Let's say that you're telling people our goods are of good value against your own conscience only because you're interested in doing business to make money. If this is the case, you should not bother with this business. Even if you were able to make some money, it's not the right thing to tell people to use inferior products. Have a look at these products, our merchandise. These are the typical daily necessities that you're all familiar with. First and foremost, they should be of good quality. The first thing you want to check out is the quality, and then the prices as well. At the minimum, you will all be successful consumers. How so? Buying good value stuff is being a successful consumer. First things first, be a successful consumer. Check out if this MLM company is a good one or not. By simply asking yourselves whether you'd use our products regardless of you becoming a contractor. Why not make a conscientious decision? I want you to be able to think you've got nothing to lose just by becoming our consumers and you'd still actually benefit. Only those who are convinced of this should do this business. Without such conviction, you won't be able to make it big. Most importantly, you should be happy consumers. If that's the case, you are confident when talking to others. You will gain confidence by doing so. Okay then, the company has decent products. How about its longevity? Will it last? Won't it go bankrupt selling too high value stuff? You'd reasonably be worried about this. This corporation does no debt management. Uh, we borrow nothing from the bank. Rather, we keep all our money in the bank. 
We keep members' compensation in the bank safe. Most of all, we don't buy anything on credit. Once goods are delivered to our warehouse, regardless of sale, uh, we pay off our suppliers 100% cash within one week. I wonder if you've heard about credit ratings for businesses, which vary depending on who does the assessment. There are ratings with 1A, with 2As, and even triple A's, and some even with four A's. How do we fare? None of the evaluators gave us a B rating. With a B rating, banks are willing to loan money. B rated businesses won't get more loans than A ones. Still, their rating means they won't default on repaying. That's what a B rating is all about. However, our rating is an A, which means we won't default on our debt. We will survive even the most challenging economy. The kinds of companies are rated as A, A plus, A double plus, and A triple plus. In the long run, we are a business that will last a long time with a high going concern possibility. I also have experience with bankruptcy. Yeah. I had started an internet shopping mall business even before high-speed internet was available, and I went bankrupt after struggling for three years. In those days, housewives didn't do internet shopping as they didn't have PCs at home yet. My thinking was too advanced for the time. I was more than prepared, but I had no customers. For instance, I said, in the basket, and people asked me what in the basket meant. I felt helpless explaining it to people. My explanation was just Greek to them. So I printed out a product catalog and basically did a mail order business taking fax and phone orders. I did those two jobs for the mail order business, which tanked completely. I was too ahead of my time. What really hit me inside and out was that a business should never go down. That's why our first founding philosophy is being. I believe a business must survive no matter what and must be run in a way that it doesn't go bankrupt. This is what came into my mind first when founding this company. Looking back, my bankruptcy was actually a good learning experience. That's why I was determined not to get any loans and stick with the policy of having ample cash on hand. You can see our balance sheet showing our assets. Please take a look at how much we have for our cash asset in our balance sheet. Our financial statements are readily available on the internet. You can see that we have zero debt and big cash assets. It is my strong belief that a certain percentage of monthly revenue should be kept as cash that will be enough for us to last one or two months. I am adamant in doing that. With that cash reserve, we will be able to weather any rainy day. This corporation is currently experiencing rapid growth. Atomy is more than ready to go on for as many as 100 years with solid and wholesome management. Okay, the company has valuable products and can last a long time. What else should you be looking for? Aren't those conditions alone sufficient? What else could be required? The CEO is this good looking, yeah? I heard some say they are relieved that the CEO looks like a CEO. Others might think otherwise. They might not be fans of my mustache, and I seem to lack some gravitas. However, my mustache is intentional. Honestly, I feel uncomfortable sporting a mustache as people tend to stare at me. Still, I have a reason for it. For example, yesterday when some famous cable company people contacted me and wanted to film me. They filmed me for one whole afternoon. I was told the show would be aired sometime in April. The show was about discovering the leaders in society. Uh, that contribute to the overall betterment of society. It is a stark change in the times that they would even bother with an MLM company like Atomy. 
major broadcasting companies are paying attention to us, an MLM business. It sure is solid evidence that we are doing things right. Many people are concerned about being involved with an MLM because of a lot of stigma, but you won't have to worry about that much longer. Things are on our side now. Again, uh, these bad rumors and stigma involving the network marketing business are all soon going to disappear. Um, as of this year, we have 10 branches overseas. In 2018, we're gearing up for markets in Indonesia, Vietnam, Australia, and are beginning to operate fully there. In 2019, we will be advancing into China and Russia. And finally, reaching India. We are sprouting up in many different directions. In a way, our main game hasn't even begun, don't you think? With a population of 50 million in Korea, we made a billion dollar revenue. There are 1.3 billion people in China, which is 26 times that of Korea. It's a madhouse in China. Things will catch fire at an unbelievable pace. The growth is going to be explosive. Therefore, you must think that you are looking at an opportunity to work for a global market that is really large and endless. Basically, you've confirmed that this is a doable business and that you've made a baby step from the starting point. You can't deny that we are such a solid entity, right? You're still not sure? <laughs> okay, then you should keep coming here until you're finally convinced. If so, would it take only a solid business for you to make it big time no matter what? How nice would it be if that were the case? I honestly want to build a business that will do just that. As you saw, many successful people came up to the stage. They make over $200,000 yearly, and of the Crown Club members, 30 to 40 of them make over $400,000 a year. Plus, the real big ones, Crown and Imperial Masters, did you see them? Five to 10 of them make over $100,000 a month. That is the kind of income that they command. Sure, there are successful people like them. However, not everyone is going to be able to make it. In essence, anyone can do the atomy business. Regardless of your age, despite little education, anyone can do this business. Still, not everyone is going to make it big. The company has its share to do, and you have your share to do. You want to do a good job with your share, and what matters is that every individual has their own way of doing things. That's why I can't tell you there is this one amazing way to do this business. Some people are just too poor. They barely even have money for lunch, let alone money for transportation. So they can't even afford to go out to meet people whenever they feel like it. On the other hand, some people are quite well off with their retirement already taken care of. These folks don't really need money for themselves. But they're bored with very few places to go. They don't like senior centers. They're not really hikers in this polluted air. They were kind of looking for a place to hang out and they found us who were telling them all these new things. They become intrigued by this and they think they'd like to do some things for their loved ones or for the people that they'd like to help out. They'd like to refer this to them. Some of them are doing this business um, purely to help out others. In other words, people come in all shapes and sizes. Here is one great thing about Atomy. Those different people can do this business in whichever way pleases them. What about other businesses? In most of them, that doesn't apply. For instance, with McDonald's or KFC, 
You need at least a few hundred grand to start, right? Can those without that kind of money do it? No, they can't. What about opening a paralegal office or other personal service business like that? You must be qualified and have specific credentials, right? With some businesses, you don't have money. With others, you have no qualifications. Most other endeavors are very restricting. With Atomy, you need no credentials. Atomy is not open only to skincare professionals. Anyone can do this, regardless of age. The big advantage of Atomy is that you can run this business in your own style. Some folks do this in this way. They buy goods for thousands of dollars and send them for free to all of their relatives and acquaintances and tell them how much they love the products. They tell their people that they'd have to pay for the goods they receive next time. So they get contacted by these people. However, they recommend signing up for membership and doing this business for their sake. They also invite their people to the seminar and sincerely advise them to do this business. One of our crown masters, Crown Master M, went completely broke after failing with an auto repair shop. He told me that he was penniless and found out his son had his pocket money, which was about two or three hundred dollars, and he used it to buy two or three sets of our cosmetics. He sold those only to people who paid in cash. If a consumer said later, he wouldn't sell. Even a person who started like that went all the way to Crown Master, naturally. He is a member of the Crown Club that consists of successful people making over $400,000 a year. Again, you need to be doing this in your own way. In addition, this is your own business. Whose business? Yours. Yes, that's right. You're the owner of your own gig. Therefore, you'll need to have a solid plan and a clear direction as to how to expand your business. Sure, you can mimic others in the beginning when you're still not certain of what to do. After all, you're the one who needs to set things up in a way that works for you and should be committed to doing this business all the way. You must be aware that this is your own business. Therefore, you must have faith in what you do. What does it mean to have faith? First, you must listen to others. In the beginning, you're not so sure, so you must learn. Be a listener. However, who makes the final decision? You. Who takes the accountability? You again. We're talking about daily necessities. Don't we all need them? You buy them anyway through discount stores, TV home shopping, or internet shopping malls, and you tell others to use our goods. Once you have many consumers, you're told to be paid compensation. As long as you do it like that, will you go bankrupt or not? No way. That's all we're asking you to do. Do only that. Don't you listen to people who try to coax you to buy in bulk on credit and those who don't want to take time to make consumers but want to cut corners. Listen, people, this Atomy business is not your typical business. It's more about becoming consumers. We don't have leading success cases. We're all consumers. Some consumers happen to have more consumers under them. How so? Our company system has it that no crown masters or imperial masters have to make enormous purchases like in other outfits. They are like any other member. They need to buy only one item a year. That's all. Even an imperial master who makes $100,000 a month needs to buy just one product every year. Our policies for membership and mastership maintenance are the same. Just because you are high ranked, you don't need to buy anything more at all. In that regard, that person is only a member. That's why I'm saying they happen to have many consumers under them. Since we don't have such purchase rules, everyone is a consumer. If someone ever tries to tempt you to do any crazy buying and betting, you're much better off just being a good consumer. 
making more consumers as hard as you can is really doing this business hard. That is the true challenge. Listen up. I'll tell you how a sales master can keep his sales mastership automatically. There are the big leg and the small leg, right? Of those big and small legs, you want to have 66 people continue buying things at least once in your smaller leg. That's what our statistics are telling you to do. The Atomy business is basically making more consumers. As our goods are of value, will people keep buying them or not? They will. That's what the ASM is all about. The very first thing you want to become is the ASM. Without becoming an ASM, you won't be able to succeed with us. Do everything correctly and steadily and build the organization of customers. No matter how right our management is, unless you do your business right, you can't make it big in the end. You can't. You must have a sense of ownership and take the initiative when doing this business independently. That's all, folks. Thank you very much. <laughs>